I start? Try start. Truck in. Hear me, I said. In this video, we have a new vlog. Um, my mechanic, my Jamaican mechanic, that, you know, teach me the ropes, carry me through the, the hills and valley, work on my truck all year round. Here's it. The mechanic has moved from the first address that I told you guys about. We have a new location here in Brampton, right? So, the link and the address is going to be in the description below. You guys can link up. Send him my email, come and visit and get your work done. In this video, Linda is going to teach us or show us how to install a piston liner assembly, right? So, Yella, take it over. <laughs> For more videos like this, please subscribe. Damien, right now, representing DSL Diesel Truck Repair. So, um, we buy a new um, um, rebuild kit, and um, in the rebuild kit, it comes with a couple of items, piston, liner, sleeve, and they don't come assembly, so we have to put it together. So, um, this is what you have to look for, like, this kit, I don't know how they do this. Normally, these O-rings normally come in a different package to itself. I guess my day could be with the, um, the weather right now. It's very cold and the hot before. So this O-ring is no good. So if you see you have a O-ring like this and it's stretched, don't waste no time. Just go and get a new kit. There's an O-ring kit only. They come one, 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 one by one. So if you have two or three of them, you need two or three. So that's how it is. That one is wreck damage. So um, these liner, and I'm working on a, um, ISX um, engine and this displacement of this engine would be just the same as a C15 cat. So as you can see right here I have a, um, a cut liner for a cat engine and I'm going to use it to um, install these liner. And like the, the, the tool that you would want to do this job is going to cost you at least over 800 bucks. So I use my knowledge that I have where I always have to get this thing done in a moderate way to get it out here. So I'm gonna put this um, one, one, one kit together and if you should want to do this yourself, you can follow step by step and then because I installed one already and I guess my view want to see you to install it yourself. So as you can see, this is the piston. Come with two snap rings in each kit. Like for me, these um, snap ring, I always turn them a special way. Like, so this is the way I normally turn them. Like, if you set them straight like this, under compression, because me and you know that these pistons set at an angle like that, they will turn. So when you have it like this. It's not gonna move. So if I set this one this side, the next one gonna be the opposite side. And and, and these um these engine it have an arrow, so you're gonna point it forward of the engine, and you have a valve recess on the cylinder head. Where if you turn this one backward, you're gonna bend the valve and you're gonna damage the whole kit, right? So this is how we're gonna do it right now. Have the ring skid here. doing if you're in this field for over a period of time like you know that piston rings you have, you have to kind of turn them up um, apart from each other if you, do, if you do if you do the way that you shouldn't most likely when you start the engine you're gonna see oil coming through the exhaust like a pump and you know that it defeat the purpose to do this job right so And these things have marking on them. They have top, top, top little of them. The, these um, piston ring have marking on them. It have top mark on them. Uh, might be a little round dimple, thing like that. The genuine kit I'm using here still.
As you can see right here, this mm -hmm. is the um, idle control rings, this is the compression rings, and the one at the top is the fire rings. So everything is in order right now. And to use this tool, based on how this liner comes with a, um, a carbon scraper ring, as you can see, there's no way how I can put this um, piston from the top because I don't have that special tool where it's gonna cost you like 800 bucks. So I have to install it at the bottom section. So the liner that I have, that have that's gonna do the installation, I have to turn it upside down like this. It's a little bit tricky to get it in, but at the end of the day, you're still not gonna spend X amount, right? Let's see how easy this one goes. Wonderful, it doesn't look like such a hard time. This is on the grudging pin. This is what secure the connecting rod against the piston. Before I put this pin, I'm gonna make sure that the arrow is at the front.
because you want to make sure that whenever you install the arrow at the front, you have to consider that the connecting rod has a special way to turn on the engine. And on the IFX, the notch must always go on your left side, driver side. And like as a cat, the notch go on the other polar side. So if you have the piston um, arrow, point straight ahead to the engine, the notch must always on the left side of the engine. So I'm going to install this um, snap ring now. Remember, you can't push it all the way down unless you have to do this procedure right over again. So this is how you do that installation. Not long from now, we're gonna install them in the, the bore of the um, engine blocks. Well, we already um, clean the block, check the counter board, everything is in, within check. So the next thing is to install the um, liner. Not long from now, cylinder, we have it in a, a brand new box there. As soon as we continue, we'll, we will update you guys until this engine is fired up. So we stop right here for now. As we continue, we're, we still have to continue because this job, it takes um, some good time to get it done, right? So, um, this is the two liner assembly that I already um, put together already. So um, I just want you guys to know that like to do something like this, it comes with experience. And if you don't have that experience, I want to chance it myself because whatever I don't know, I don't know. Because a kit like this, you're talking about like 14, 15 thousand. You're not, you're not talking about the labor to do the job yet, right? So if you do something and make a mistake, it's not like you're you're driving on the road and put on a signal and make a, 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 a right turn when you should make a left and somebody's not in that lane definitely once you have an issue with this baby you have to take it back apart <laughs> yeah so as i said i can big up a couple of my um my guys on even more pop that's my bigger brother big up sugar for j the whole work you know jamaica we post it jamaica like in a december Need to do something for the, the bigger man they make. They you know what I go and follow their footsteps the same way. They still arrive and the whole works. As we continue, we should get by. That's it for now. For more videos like this, please subscribe.